Welcome back, everybody, to Maui Prep in 2022 after our soft launch last week with everybody's favorite, remote learning. This special edition of Maui Pueo News will cover the school news for the week of January 10, 2022. I'm hoping to ramp up a student crew for future broadcasts, but for this week, it's just me, Mr. Van Dyke. With no Friday assembly last week, there's a lot to cover, so let's jump right in. First off, thanks everybody for making distance learning a success by showing up in Zoom classes dressed and ready to learn. Teachers appreciated your being on time and showing your unmasked, smiling faces to the camera while we worked through lessons together. Speaking of masks, remember that you must be masked indoors at all times with a high quality mask covering your mouth and nose. You've seen all the record COVID numbers on Maui, and that doesn't include many people, including young, unvaccinated Keiki and our Kapuna, who might contract COVID but perhaps can't get tested, so aren't actually part of the official count. If you haven't done so already, consider upgrading your mask, as I did just before break, from a cloth mask to a N95 or KN95 mask. N95 and KN95 masks have electrostatic properties and multiple filters that help prevent even the tiniest droplets from making it into your system. Also good, though not as good, as N95 and KN95 are surgical masks. You can see here that unmasked individuals are likely to infect others in 15 minutes. That time doubles if one person is wearing a surgical mask, doubles again if both are wearing surgical masks, and is at least two and a half hours if at least one person is wearing what they call a respirator. That's the term they use for N95. It also includes KN95, the one that I've upgraded to, KF94, and FFP2. Genuine KN95, KF94, and FFP are Chinese, Korean, and European standards, very similar to the N95 masks. A double air cloth mask is better than nothing, but Omicron is 70 times more infectious than Delta, and cloth masks aren't fully up to the task of protecting you or others. As we ease back into our regular school schedule, here are the clubs and other events for the week. Note that there is a new club meeting Thursday after school, the LEGO Competition Club. It's open to students in grades 6 through 8, whether you were in last quarter's LEGO course or not. You'll build, program, and test your robots to solve a series of challenges and, COVID permitting, compete against other schools. Our first meeting is this coming Thursday, January 13, right after school in the Graham Center. Here are some other notable events. Monday, that is today, videotaped auditions for the combined middle and high school production of Willy Wonka Jr. are due. Details are in Google Classroom. Check with Mrs. Jerome if you have any questions about recording and submitting your audition video. Again, that deadline is today. Coming up on Friday afternoon and Saturday morning are the first two Maui Interscholastic League swim events, both down at the Kihei Aquatic Center, at 5 p.m. on Friday and 10 a.m. on Saturday. Your best source of updated sports information, of course, is Coach Bailey, our athletic director. Spectators are no longer allowed at events until the current COVID surge driven by the Omicron variant subsides. January 21, coming up soon, is the Puyo Palooza Talent Show. It's set to be live, but as you may recall, last year it was pre-recorded, and it may be again this year. We'll let you know which option it will be shortly. Our May Day celebration is coming up soon with lower school practices starting shortly, and middle school students will be practicing during their PE classes. Also, you may have noticed that this coming Monday is a holiday. It's a day set aside to celebrate the life of Dr. Martin Luther King and his message of nonviolent protests. We will have a short four-day week starting next week on Tuesday. Moving on, are you interested in political and community issues? The Maui County Council is now accepting applications for its Youth Council, a new advisory body composed of local high school students. Youth Council members will learn the county's legislative process, meet in the council chamber, and ultimately transmit approved Youth Council policy recommendations to the Maui County Council. Applications for the Maui County Youth Council are available at MauiCounty.us. Maui County public and private school students in grades 9 through 12 may apply. The deadline is the end of January, so coming up, see Mr. Reader if you are interested in representing your peers to the county or if you have any other questions. For those who love volleyball and want to keep practicing and competing, consider joining the Kahalawai 
Volleyball Club for players ages 10 through 18. Practices begin next week with tournaments in March and April. See Mr. Kirkham to find out more. You can also visit kahalawaivolleyballclub.com for details and an online application. Who is hungry? Remember to bring your lunch or sign up on Boonley to order a school lunch prepared by Chef Juan. Here's the menu for this week. If you love his barbecue chicken, that's what's on the menu Monday. Tuesday, it's everybody's favorite, mac and cheese with ham. You get a cheeseburger on Wednesday, cheese ravioli is Thursday, and end your week with cheese pizza. Each meal comes with salad and fruit as well as milk, with every Wednesday featuring Dr. Moylan's favorite, chocolate milk. That's it for this week's broadcast. There will be a short episode next week on Tuesday when we get back from the long weekend. Until then, stay safe, have a great week, and go, go Pueo! Pueo!